So, I'm making a deal with, uh, with Katie Dumb Rajewski Perry. Um, I guess she's having, I, I guess she's pregnant and, and like she's going to have the baby in December or some bullshit. Well, here's the deal, Katie. I'll pay for you to get an, an abortion. And not only will I pay for your abortion, but I will give you $500 for yourself. Just, just so that that baby is not friggin' born. What's this? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um it's e it's e it, 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 it I'm getting my way either way. Either the baby is not born, either you get an abortion or when that baby is born, I'm calling CPS and having them go through your fucking house. Because we, we, I, as a concerned citizen, cannot allow a piece of trash like you to reproduce, okay? Juicy cannot have kids, okay? Well, for whatever reason, I, I don't know, but some reason she can't have kids, and I don't think it's fair that 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 Juicy, who would be a good mother, cannot have kids, but a fucking piece of trash like Katy Perry Rajewski, whatever I don't even know what the fuck her name is anymore. Katy Rajewski Perry Dumb is reproducing. Piece of fucking trash like her reproducing. This is why I don't believe in God, okay? There is no God, okay? If there is a God, he doesn't give a shit about, about people, okay? He does not give a shit, okay? So, here's the deal. You either abort the fucking baby, or I send CPS down to your house. Oh, and if I send that CPS, they will take the kid. They know, I know that there are going to be many offenses in that home that will warrant CPS taking your fucking daughter. Believe me, you know, you're going to sit there with the, there, first of all, there's too many dogs in that house, okay? That, that's the first thing that they're going to see are the fucking dogs, okay? You got a little ass apartment, and it's all packed. It's, they're probably going to walk in, they're going to see like, five, like uh, ten different dudes in there with varying degrees of, of hygiene and cleanliness, okay? They're going to see that, then they're going to see all the dogs around there. And then they're going to see the kid. Probably sucking off the fucking dog. Probably funneling a beer, you know. That's what I'm going to, that's, the, oh, and if I see you at, at, at Guar, and I see you drinking, I'm going to punch you in the fucking face, Katie. You know. It's bad enough, it's, oh, it's bad enough that you're pregnant. Do we really need you to have a, 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 a baby born of fucking fetal alcohol syndrome? No, no, no. So here's what we do. I'm going to get CPS at your fucking place. They're going to take your kid, and that kid is going to be raised by fucking Juicy. The baby might be born retarded, but hey, at least it would have a chance with, with Juicy. Juicy loves retards, okay? So, there, you know. The 
best thing for that baby, though, is, is just fucking abort it. The best thing for it is for it to die a fucking crib death. Right there. You know, I, you, you think I'm being kind of, uh, you know, morbid or whatever. <laughs> hey, I'd rather die than be raised by fucking Katy Perry Rajewski, okay? I'm not calling her Katy Perry anymore, by the way. Her name is Katy Rajewski, okay? I don't care if she got married, okay? I don't care if she had a shotgun wedding, okay? And fucking David Perry looks like a pussy to me, okay? No, oh, just because he has a long beard it makes him look tough. No, it doesn't. I bet I bet you one punch to the to the throat, he he'd be on the ground whining like a little biatch. You know? So I still have my job. That's something else that, that barf isn't going to take away from me. Um, but, you know, I go to the library and I'm trying to record these songs. I went yesterday and I couldn't record anything because, okay, I got, I had a reservation for, for, for the recording studio. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. yesterday, Saturday. So I get there, I check in and all that. I get into the studio. There's like 10 niggers trying to record their they rap video. I'm like, what the fuck? You know, you got these people who and all that shit. And I'm just like, dude, I need to record my music. And not only that, you know, I probably could have technically recorded something, but whoever used that place last, like, fucked up all the settings. And, of course, they have to use a fucking Mac computer. Macs are the... the Invention of the devil, okay? <clears throat> I hate Macs with a fucking passion, okay? So they're using these Macs on, 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 at the library for recording studio. And I'm like, dude, come on. And they're, they're switching around all the shit. So now nothing works, you know? I was able to get some guitar shit, but like... <clears throat> they use this, uh, what do you call it, Pro Tools, and then for, um, for, like, the guitar part, it's like, there's, like, a separate program that works off of Pro Tools, I guess, and I believe it's called Pod Farm. <clears throat> I think that's what it's called, and with, with that program, uh, you could like switch between it's it's pretty much like you you can get you know like you have like a death metal pedal you can buy a death metal pedal well they actually have software to recreate the death metal pedal sound or that you can rec recreate like different types of amp sounds so I was able to do that but it didn't record the way that like the different sounds like I could hear it in the, in the uh, headphones but it didn't record that way. It was just recording like it was just just me, you know, like a right, like just normal guitar sound. It was really weird. So I'm like, fuck this. These niggers are ooking and eeking all over the place. The uh, you know recording the rap video, and I'm like, fuck this. I I I walked out. And it's ridiculous, too. <clears throat> and then Eugene's over there, like, well, why don't you just pay for studio time? Because I don't, ma I don't make $10,000 a week like you, okay? You know, I don't have all this money, okay? 
So, so yeah, I don't have all this money to blow on a recording studio, okay? I should just buy, like, the equipment that they have there, which I'm thinking is, like, a line, yeah, these are expensive shit. Line 6 Pod Studio UX2 with Pod Farm. Okay, well, anyway. What else? So, I'm probably. I'm tired of fucking juicy. <sighs> Hold on. She's saying, oh, how many AC units you, oh, it says one of how many AC units you run? Just one. And she didn't put the fucking parenthetical numerals in. Why is she not putting in the fucking parenthetical numerals? This is ridiculous. You, you, she needs to, 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 you know, write her, her posts like, like they're for dumb people. That's what she needs to do. Okay, she needs to write her posts like 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 she's writing them for dumb people, and she's not. She's not putting the word two or the word one and then parentheses one in it. You know that's how you have to write that. All right, all right. So let me explain this whole thing with the parentheses and the numbers. I think I've, <clears throat> I think I've explained it once before. I don't think many people understood it. When I was uh, in high school, you know, English class, you need you know write a book report or whatever. I learned from my teacher that if it's any number that's twelve or below, like let's say. Let's say I'm writing a book report, okay? I'm writing the book report. And, uh, and I say that there were, uh, let's say I'm writing a, a, let's say I'm writing, like, a book report about Lord of the Rings, and I'm writing one ring to rule them all, and let's say I, let's say I just write, write, like, a number one. Like just the numeral one, it says one ring to rule them all. She told the my teacher she says it. You don't write it like that. If it's twelve or below, you have to write out the word of uh, the number for it. If it's if it's above twelve, if it's like thirteen and over, then do whatever the hell you want. Okay, write out the number. Write out the the you know whatever. But if it's 12 or below, you have to write out the word. Okay, so I'm writing out O-N-E. One ring to rule them all. Well, that kind of stuck with me. Okay, I guess that's the proper way of doing it. And me, I'm a proper person, so that's what I do, okay, from now on. So... Like me, I hate using like abbreviations or um, like those shortcuts like you are or whatever the hell people use like like on the computer like you are like the letter U and then R 
You're an asshole. I'll, I'll write. I'll either write you are an asshole or you're an asshole. Like you or Y O U apostrophe R E an asshole. Because I can't stand bad grammar like that. So anyway, 12 or below, you write out the word. That's the bottom line. You write out the word. That's proper English right there. Now, the other, the other problem is, this is how the parenthetical numerals came in. About, I don't know, maybe a year or so after all that, I walk in, I was living at my parents' house at the time, okay? In, in Lovejoy, and uh, I walk in the Carbones Pizza on Lovejoy, and uh, they have a they had a they have a board up on top. Okay, it's like when you walk in, here's a counter, but above the counter, there's like a board. Okay, and that's the whole menu just laid out across a big board across the room. Okay, so it's like a McDonald's uh, board, but not as not as fancy, you know. But anyway, they have everything lined up like that. So I'm looking. I'm like, okay. okay. I want a chicken finger sub and ten breadsticks. And I noticed that the that when it said it said uh it said uh bread it said five breadsticks and ten breadsticks. Now it said five and then in parentheses it had the numeral five. And uh, it also said under it ten breadsticks like the same way. Ten and with the, new, the number 10 inside. And I asked him, why do you do it like that? And this is the response that the guy at the pizzeria said. Well, because we do it like that because people in this neighborhood are stupid. Okay? Most the people in this neighborhood can't read. Okay? So, it's like... We have to dummy it down for certain people. Some people can't read the word uh, the, can't read the word ten, but they can notice the, like the you know the, the numeral ten. They can look at it and say, oh, ten. Ten breadsticks. Cool. <clears throat> so we have to put it in so we have to put it in simplified English for the simple folk. That's what it pretty much is. And I said, okay, that, that makes sense. I mean, it's like here in America where everything is written in English and then it's written in uh, Spanish as well. Or in uh, Canada, everything's written in English and then it's also written in French too, you know. So it's that. It's, it's, that. it's like I'm, I'm putting it into a... Not a different language, but a way of, like other people can understand. Okay, and that's what Carbones did. So ever since then, I've been writing. You know, like I'm getting, I'm getting ten, ten breadsticks. You know, like that, or I'm getting two subs, and you know, whatever. And 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 uh and tw and uh, no not twenty one more and ten wings or something and it's also weird too because uh with the wings too it says like single double and triple and I think there's also a bucket underneath there too the single it it, it says single and then it says ten. And then it says double, and it says 20. And then it says uh, triple, 30. And then bucket, I think, is like 50 or something. And it has it all. So dummies can know what they're ordering. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, anyway, since I got this new job, you know, I've... Uh, I've been thinking. I think I'm gonna start saving money um, 
from this for this from this new job. I think I'm gonna start saving uh, uh, some money or something. Put some aside. I'm gonna take myself a little trip. You know, it's not gonna be far. It's not gonna be you know lavish or whatever. <clears throat> but I'm thinking too. It's like I I work every single day uh, except for weekends. Okay. So. So that's not really like a problem, you know, I can go somewhere for the weekend. That's not too far away. That's not, you know, way, way too far, but you know. I'm thinking about um probably in next June. I know it's a little far, far in advance, but I'm thinking maybe next June or so, maybe next summer or sometime. I'm thinking about doing a trip to Toronto. You know, everything's going to be legit. I'm going to have all kinds of money saved up. Um, I'm going to cut down the costs a bit because I'm going to try to get a dollar bus to get up there. Um, so getting there and back only cost me like, what, three dollars? And it's a and it's like a it's a straight trip from Buffalo to Toronto too, on, on the mega bus. Um, and the way the the mega bus runs is, um, I guess if you plan it out in advance, you could get a dollar seat, but you have to kind of plan it like right away. But the thing is, is that if I plan it now, they won't let me plan it now, okay? They, they, they start, you can only plan it, I don't know, maybe like two months in advance or something. But once, once it gets to like June or whatever, so I'll, so I'll wait till like what? Um, I'll wait till like April or so to plan it, look at like the times or whatever. And, uh go from there, you know, if I'm like one of the first people to like uh, purchase a ticket for that, um, for that ride, then I get the dollar bus, because I guess what it is, is they, they only have so many seats that are dollar uh, seats, and once those go, um, then it starts getting, uh, the price starts getting a little higher each time. And I really don't want to be there mid-January. I'm not juicy. I'm not nucky. So I don't want to be there mid-January. Okay? That's just, no, no. Um, I'm thinking maybe, um, maybe if I even go in like the spring or something, that's fine. Um... But we're gonna do this legit. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a hotel room, you know, for a weekend. I guess. Um, I'm a little scared just because I've never actually done something like this. But you know, I need to get it out of my system and whatever. You know, maybe see a metal show up there. You know, Brian Patterson's influence. You know. I don't think would travel up to Toronto. Who knows? You know, what's he gonna do though, you know? What's he gonna do? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't let Michael Cohen to cheat like who are who the fuck are they gonna know who it is, you know, up there? At least people here know who I am. It's like they're like, okay, I know who that Michael Constantino guy is. I'm not gonna let him into my club. But anyway, you know, you know, I, I first and foremost, I want to go. I want to go to the Ontario Science Center. I've been there a couple times. Um, I thought that was a pretty cool place. Um, I haven't been there in a long while. Um, I want to find. I want to go to Palladium. I don't know if that place is still around anymore. The last time I was there, the Sega Saturn was like the big thing. I guess it's owned by Sega, um, the Palladium. So back then, everything was like, um, everything was like House of the Dead, 
you know, it was like whatever was out for Saturn at the time. Um, it was that, and then, um, it was that one race game? I forget the, I forget the car game that they had. Daytona, US, I forget. But, Gravy, come here. Gravy! Gravy, come here. Gravy. What? Come here, Gravy. Gravy, come here. What? Oh, well. So I want to go there. I don't know what they have up there anymore. Um, what else? What the fuck? Gravy, come here. Gravy. Come here, Gravy. I want to go to CN Tower. Go to the top of that. You know, I don't even care about... I'm not going to eat at that restaurant that costs like a million dollars to eat at. I heard it's kind of like a romantic restaurant. So me going in there with, with my with my uh, with my big sh big 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 shirt and and fucking boxer shorts, my my bolds hanging from my boxer shorts. Yeah, you know, that, that wouldn't look good. So I'm thinking about going to Bitch Nigga. That's actually a real restaurant in Toronto. It's it's called Bitch Nigga. It, and it's a Chinese restaurant. So, I mean, I, I that's my plan. You know, maybe, you know, I get out of work, maybe like 8.30 or so. This is my plan. I get out of work, 8.30. Go, go straight to the Greyhound station because it's like walking distance. I work downtown. I'm not going to tell anyone where I work, but I work downtown. I go downtown. I can, I can, I can easily, you know, I can easily walk to the Greyhound station. So I have my suitcase, my Bulgarian suitcase, and uh, I'm walking with my Bulgarian suitcase. I'll go downtown, go to Greyhound station, catch the, you know, the dollar bus or whatever. Sometime that night. You know, this is like a Friday night or something, you know. You get out at like 8, 8.30 or so. Catch a dollar bus. Get, get my ass to Toronto. Um, hopefully, I, I don't know what like what's around there at the time, but hopefully there's like a hotel, like, within a block or two of that place, you know, I'll go go to a hotel and, uh, you know, have sleep. Saturday morning, you know, I can, you know, I'll probably go out, do some shit in Toronto. You know, I'll probably stay until, like, Monday. You know, maybe come back Monday afternoon or something. You know, may, maybe I'll come back, like, Monday, what? Gravy, come here. Gravy, what's wrong? Gravy, come here. Like I say, probably go, come back like around, you know, try to be back in the Buffalo, you know, so I can, so I can come right from the Greyhound station to work, you know. And then, you know, come back. That's that, you know. That's probably my plan. And, of course, my mom's already up in arms about it. Ooh, why don't you just wait until I go? What the hell, Mom? You know. No, because she has been promising me all this bullshit for years now. And has, has not come through. You know, she promised me, you know, going to Disney World. And, and for my, she, she promised me Disney World for like a birthday, like two years ago. And she still hasn't done it. And then she's like, well, I'm not doing it now because, you know, back then when you were working at the casino, you couldn't get a day off. 
And I said, Mom, listen. I, I, you know. I was fired from the casino in April of that year, okay? My birthday isn't until May, okay? There's no reason you could, you, you, you had to, you had to renege on, on something like that. I think it's just the way she does it. So that she can promise me something and then take it back. Just so that because she, she's cheap, you know. And then she promised me to, to take me to Cleveland. And then she said, well, I don't think you'll handle the car ride. And then she's like, I don't think you'd be able to, you know, what if we get a hotel and there's bed bugs in it? And I'm like, well, that's a little concern, but, you know what, I'm willing to take that risk. And I said, or else we can just sleep in the fucking car. Oh, well, no, we can't do that. I'm not sleeping in a car. Well, then we're going to have to get a hotel room now, don't we? And you have to pay for two rooms because there's two of us. I'm not sleeping with you, okay? So, you can either... And that's going to be a concern of mine for uh, Toronto as well. Bed bugs. I don't know, but... What if I get into the hotel room and I'm checking the beds and everything and there's bed bugs. Now I just paid for a room and what's going to happen now? I can't, I can't have it. What? I, I'm not going to sleep in a room full of bed bugs. Do I get my money back from that and then go find another place? <clears throat> I don't know, but that's, that's a little concerning, but... I'm sure it'll work out. Um, you know, I was thinking about doing like just an Amtrak ride, but you know what? Like that, like the Amtrak will go just as fast as a bus, I guess. Like those those trains don't even go that fast, really. So it's not like it's not like I'm gonna get there any faster. I already checked on it, you know. Actually, you know what? The bus. The, it seems like the bus gets there faster, and plus I can get the. Uh, the I can go try for a dollar bus. So that's not really that. I'd rather just take the bus. You know. Let's see. And hopefully there's some cool metal shows down there. Uh, well, I think this is it. Crazy. Mega bus in USA. Ugh. Traveling from the park. Traveling to, let's see. Here we go, Toronto. I was also thinking about doing it like uh like to to even to get even more, you know, to get even more of a discount just leaving out of the Niagara Falls Ontario uh station. But I said, "Fuck it, if it's a dollar bus, it's going to be a dollar bus over there too, right?" All right, let's see. So today is what Today is September 20th, 2015, and uh, it shows I can't, I can't actually plan ahead. The, the closest I can plan right now is December of 2015, December 2nd actually of 2015, <clears throat> and that's a Wednesday. So I have to actually wait a bit. Um, yeah, I'm going to actually have to wait a bit to uh, get that. Try for the dollar bus. I bet you, I bet you if I do it right now, it's going to be a dollar. 
No, it's, it's $25. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's $5. Oh, wait. There's a $5 one. And it take how long? I can't read that. Two hours and thirty minutes. That's the five dollar one. So that shows. Let me see. Yeah, I'm sure I can get this even, uh, even cheaper with a dollar bus. Yeah, I'm not going in December. Fuck that. Come on, how do I do this? So let's say I want to go on um, October 2nd and I'll be back what day? October, that's a Friday, and then I go to, say I go Monday. Come back Monday. Yeah, the cheapest is a $14 one, but who knows? It could have been a bunch of people already booked for that. Um, so let's see. I mean, I guess the seats go quick, so. Hmm. I mean, if I get like a, if I get a dollar bus, I mean, that that's, that's pretty cool in itself, you know. I'll buy that even if I don't use it, you know. Even if I can't go that day, you know, let's just see a, one from Buffalo to Cleveland. Let's just see, um, to see how much that is real quick. Because I want to go to Cleveland so I can see the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That's 20, that's 15 coming back. Ooh. When is that Watane show in Pittsburgh? See how much that is. Mayhem and Watain. Okay, so it's it's November twenty second. What day is that? That better not that better be a, a weekend. Good, it is. So Sunday. So let's see. Where's 
is New York. Oh, what the hell? They don't have a Pittsburgh stop. At least it doesn't go to Pittsburgh. So anyway, I just, you know, I'm going to do this, this trip, okay? <clears throat> I'll have, like, my shit with me. I'll have, like, my laptop and all that. Keep it in the hotel room or whatever. You know. My iPod. I'll have... I'll, I might bring my PS4. Who knows? I'll bring this, you know... For sure, my uh, my DS that I found, my 3DS, I should say, that I found in a trash can. I mean, look, it it, it works perfect. And somebody just threw this out. Yeah, somebody just threw out a, a 3DS. At Oogie Games. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck were they thinking? You know? I heard of a new uh, store, a new video game store. It's kind of far, though, from where I am, at least. But, I mean, if, I, if I'm going to Oogie Games in West Seneca, if I'm going to Oogie Games in the town of Tonawanda, and this, this new place isn't really that far... Um, but I'm just trying to figure out a, a way I can get there, you know, efficiently. There's a place that's like, um, it's like off of, uh, it's, 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 it's in a plaza, like, near Clinton Street. Like, if you're going, like, toward West Seneca, um, and there's, like, a value in there. I forget the name of it. I think it's called, like, Gamer Heaven or something. Um, but you know what? I went in there once, and, uh, it was actually, it was actually a nice place. It was, uh. They had really cheap games and everything. Uh, where, where I bought Dragon Age Inquisition for like twenty dollars for PS4. That's like a brand new game right there. It's like twenty dollars. And uh, what else? You know, I I'm bet you they they have some stuff that they that they throw out. I might like, want to go and check their dumpster. I gotta figure out like what day the garbage comes. Is there any like website you can go to where they can tell you what day trash day is? Like in certain parts? Or is it like one of those things where you know you have to kinda you have to kinda know by just observing. There's no like website you can go to to figure out what day trash day comes or whatever. Yeah. So I don't know, but you know, I, I want to go back to the library. I just don't want to deal with all the hoodlums, you know, making their rap videos and all that. While I'm trying to sing, and you know what, I'm I'm singing lyrics that have racial slurs in them, okay? And I can't have that when I got like ten niggers in a fucking room making the the rap video, okay? I'm making I'm making songs that have profanity in them, and I can't have that with with all kinds of people in there, and. You know, and the other thing too is, there's another issue I gotta get to. 
regarding my band and everything else. There's somebody, there's somebody, I don't know who it is. I'm guessing it's just one, it's a, it's a friend of mine on Facebook who keeps on reporting my posts, okay? But they don't just report the posts, okay? They'll report, like, just, like, a post I make as nudity, okay? I'm like, these are, these are just, po ooh, ow. These, these are just posts that I'm making, like, like, what was the one thing I wrote that, that was reported for nudity? Oh, I wrote, Brian Robson is a pussy or something. They reported it as a nudity. It's not nudity. How the fuck do you get nudity out of text, you know? I mean, if I post a picture of, of like, my dick or something, then yeah, maybe, yeah, then report it as nudity. But yeah, I mean, I'm watching this asshole make sushi. I'm not watching this. <clears throat> but anyway, why would you report something like that as nudity? And of course, half the time, half the time that uh, Facebook says, "Oh, we're not gonna, we're not gonna delete this post because it's not nudity." But you know what? The, the one time I did get a, a three-day ban, a th three-day ban, and uh, it was because I posted lyrics to the to the song "Dick Tooth," which was all about my ex-girlfriend Amy Moss. Somebody reported that, and I got a three-day ban. Well, here's the new rule. Okay, and some, somebody also reported another song that I wrote called Simple Simon, okay? Because what I was doing was I was like, you know, sometimes when I get bored, like, I'll start typing out lyrics and making them post for my Facebook. Um, so I'm sitting there, I'm typing away lyrics for, uh, for my band, and... Um, One of the songs was called Simple Simon. It's like an, it's gonna be on my one of my new albums called uh, Dog Dicks and Cock Wizards. It's called Simple Simon. Somebody reported that as nudity. Okay. Of course, it didn't get deleted because it's not nudity. But the the fact is is that somebody still reported it like an idiot. So. The point that the, the new rule is, if I ever type, if I ever, if I ever write up lyrics for for my band, for a for an album that my band puts out, for a song or whatever, and it gets reported, because I know it gets reported, I get a I get a, a notification. Somebody reported your thing is nudie. Okay. So, if I get if I get a notice like that, somebody also reported something I wrote. I don't know what I wrote, but somebody reported a post that I made as a suicide threat or some bullshit. I don't know. I don't remember writing anything suicidal or anything, but it's like one of your friends of his who reported your post is is a suicidal threat. They didn't like ban me or anything, but you know what? And they didn't even tell me what the what the post was, so I can't even say. It just said you whatever, and then it's like, here, get help now, and then it's like stop suicide or some bullshit like that. Dot com, and um, it was like call, call uh, suicide prevention. I'm like, I don't even know what the fuck I wrote, so. Whatever, it could have been like, like, barf is a pussy or something, and somebody just, whatever. So, uh, so here's the new rule. If anybody 
If I'm writing up a, a lyrics for a song that 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 that, that I, I'm meaning to be part of an album that my band puts out, okay. If anybody reports those lyrics to Facebook, it says like, "Oh, we're reporting this for we're reporting this for suicide or something bold." Okay, the new rule is. Whatever gets reported, okay, next time I go to the library, that song is going to be recorded. So, whenever you report my, my lyrics that, that I write for my, for my albums, for my band, and it gets reported, you're going to have... I'm, I'm recording that song. So, thing is, is that my, my, uh, my, the lyrics for Dick Tooth were reported. I got a three-day ban for that. Guess what I did? Next time I went to the library, I went and recorded that song. Next time, next time I'm able to record something, I'm recording Simple Simon next. So, that's the new rule, okay? So, you're going to report my shit, I'm going to force you to support my band, okay? That's the new rule, okay? Until then, you're, you're going to have a say in which songs are going to be recorded and which, in which order, okay? And I'm going to be a total asshole about it, okay? It'll, it'll be like... You know, uh, and you know, I'll, you're gonna be the one that's responsible for putting out new albums for my band. How's that sound? You hate my band so much that you're actually gonna start supporting them now. You're gonna start supporting my band every time you you report my lyrics. I go and record that song. Okay. What? Here, here's a party for you. For you kitties. Everybody needs to bring a beer in cans, no bottles. Every person starts as a level zero wizard. A beer finished advances you to level one. You keep your empties and use duct tape to tape them together. God. Tape them together, creating your wizard <laughs> This is something Juicy would do. To create your wizard set, there will be bosses to challenge and to find themselves. First person to level eight becomes the white, the white wizard. For every level beyond eight, they, they didn't even write eight right. The white wizard makes a house rule that everyone must follow. Next person to reach level eight challenges. <laughs> oh my god! Juicy, juicy! You, <laughs> you need to do this, okay? <laughs> oh my god! You know, I made, I made, I made a fuck up. On one of my videos that said when I said Juicy goes to these D and D things and there's drinking and drugs involved. <laughs> oh, oh <my> Stop. This isn't real. This isn't real. 
Stop! Stop! <laughs> I'm just reading on Facebook something. So. Oh my god. What? Dude, whoa, 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 whoa. So I'm reading this thing about, the, about this is this is just got serious now, okay? This just got fucking serious. Real quick. You know that piece of shit barf? You know that piece of shit that got me fired from the casino and got me arrested for for shopping? Well, remember I kept saying that about that, that one um, boyfriend she had, the, that Chris Holland guy? Well, I can prove he's alive. This, this Chris Holland guy posted. Okay? This Chris, Chris Holland guy posted on, on this post. So, he's still alive. He faked his death to get away from, from Barb. You know, so looks like he li he's living in in uh, in Rochester now. So, or what? Hold on. Okay. Well, I guess I guess I guess her her gay boy gay ex boyfriend lives in Rochester now. Chris Chris Holland lives in Rochester. So so there, Barf. You know, if Tupac can do it, so can Chris Holland. Okay. Now I just got pissed. Okay. Ooh.